Hi guys, in this video I'm troubleshooting uh, Lenovo A57 that uh, doesn't seem to always want to start. Basically sometimes it starts normally and other times you cannot get it to start no matter what you do. First I thought the PSU is bad and it's uh, uh, entering uh, some sort of protection. Uh, maybe over voltage, uh, under voltage, who knows. But uh, yeah, you can start a PSU uh, with a wire just by connecting uh, the green and the black uh, outputs. So listen to the PSU. PSU. Basically, you can hear sounds from the hard drive, for example. So, the PSU itself is not entering any protection mode. Um, so, the fault is somewhere else. I thought uh, that maybe the PSU has some bad caps, because that happens a lot. But, no. And, searching a little bit, I've discovered Two little bad caps there, and two little bad caps there. So basically, I'm thinking that either these two or the two in that area are causing this uh, problem. They might have something to do with the standby uh, part of this motherboard. So basically the motherboard is not uh, giving the PSU a signal to power on. Now, I just want to tell you something that I do not recommend you to do ever, but it can be done. But you might actually harm your uh, motherboard in doing so. You see, when I tested this, I unplugged everything from the motherboard. I'm going to plug everything back. Hopefully I'm able to do this with one hand. Let me give it a, give it a quick check. Maybe this time it will start. Nope, it doesn't want to start. Nothing at all. You can actually start it by doing the same thing. Now it's pretty hard for me to do this with one hand. So this motherboard is starting and the PSU is not entering any fail uh, or protection modes. At this point it's pretty clear that the problem is with the standby from the motherboard. And I will take it out and change those capacitors and see what we get. Again, I do not recommend you power it on like I just did. Connect it to the motherboard. But if uh, you really need to get it going in that particular moment and you don't have any other way around it, you can power it on like that, but again, I do not recommend it. So next I'm going to tear this down and take out the motherboard and see what we find next. Just a heads up, before uh, tearing this uh, down, make sure you take photos of exactly which wire goes where. Because these brand PCs have uh, weird connectors that you do not encounter on custom built PCs. So most likely if you don't take note of uh, each wire and where it should go, um, you will have a hard time guessing uh, later. So I'm going to make some pictures or use this video just to be sure, because you can see two red wires, one of them is for the intrusion switch, 
one of them is for the speaker one is going there one is going there yeah not really funny so let us continue the motherboard is out nothing else seem to be seems to be wrong these uh, four caps are all uh, 470 microfarads at 6.3 volts and I will be replacing them but off camera because I'm a little bit in a hurry and uh, I already have a video where I replace on camera some caps but uh, keep in mind in that video I did a pretty bad job because uh, I didn't realize I was uh, trying to use some um, solder with uh, too high melting point from what I remember because basically when you try to unsolder this you have to put a little bit of new solder because the solder that is already on this uh, motherboards on the contacts is solder that um, melts at high temperatures so yeah you want some fresh solder to, to melt it a little bit easier but the one that i was using was pretty crap so yeah i realized pretty late in that video so yeah not a great job but the main idea still works and uh, i managed to do it in the end and i will do it for this off camera and i'll get back to you in a moment well uh, Mm, that wasn't the problem. <laughs> I've replaced the caps with some really nice uh, Sanyos. Uh, still didn't work. Then I decided to take apart the other PC that I already finished uh, building, storing Windows, everything on it. And test it with the PCU from that one. Well, it's powering every time perfectly. So, here is our problem. Of course, it's beeping at me, it doesn't have a hard drive, keyboard, etc. So, I'm going to take this apart next, but I will probably do that tomorrow, because it's late now, but for you, that will be next, taking apart this PSU. But, at least, the caps are all in perfect condition at this point and it's good that I've seen uh, those uh, with bulging uh, ends. So yeah, bad that I lost a little bit of time troubleshooting. I should have tested with this PSU but I just didn't want to tear uh, apart that other PC. So yeah, let's do it. Tear this PSU down. I have opened up the PSU and nothing seems obviously wrong with it. All the caps uh, are in good shape. I do not know if they also test good, but they are not bulging, not uh, uh, dripping or anything. So, yeah. And sadly, I don't have uh, time for troubleshooting this further. And neither am I uh, good enough at uh, electronics, so this will be an easy job for me, if nothing is obviously damaged. I could start testing voltages, see what happens, uh, see where the standby voltage is coming from, why it is not uh, uh, good, but yeah, that would take time and... Yeah, I, I'm not in the mood for that now. And I have a perfectly working power supply from another computer that I replaced this power supply with my old power supply. But this is still perfectly working. So yeah, I'm going to put this in. And this most likely I will not ever, even bother uh, finding out what the problem is with the 5 volt standby because I will transform this into my bench power supply because it seems really well built. So uh, I will clean it and use it as a bench power supply and 
from the looks of it, it will work for many years because it it's way way heavier than standard power supplies that I'm used to. And big caps, big heat sinks. Yeah, I really like it. Lots of filtering protections. It's decent, but I'm not going to troubleshoot it. I'm going to use it as it is and I'm going to put this one in this PC. So let's do that now. Okay, power supply is in. And it is working perfectly. So basically this PC is fixed. Uh, probably is beeping at me because of no keyboard. Uh, I put in a power supply that I was not using, it's a good power supply, changed the capacitors and the other power supply I will use in uh, another project. So basically all fixed, not exactly like uh, <laughs> I thought first but uh, in the end it is still fixed. So thanks for watching guys. And uh, yeah, check out my other videos where uh, I work a little bit more on these PCs and other PCs and maybe other type of videos that I make. And uh, see you again next time. Bye.